Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Um, I had a really good uh, birthday yesterday. I got to have my first drink at Applebee's. It was really good. It was a strawberry margarita blended. So good. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm going to do another review today. And um, I'm going to be reviewing a movie that uh, a lot of people have compared it to, like, Pocahontas or Fern Gully or something like that. And what is that movie, you might ask? Well, it is Avatar. You know, even though a lot of people have compared this movie to Pocahontas and Ferngully, I really, really enjoy this movie. I love it. Um, it was directed by James Cameron, who, of course, directed Aliens, Titanic, uh, True Lies, the first two Terminator movies. This guy is just a really, really great director. He's one of my all-time favorite directors. I freaking love him. So, basic plot of Avatar is... Um, is that the main character, Jake Sully, played by Sam Worthington from Terminator Salvation. Um, he goes to this planet called Pandora, and uh, he meets with the head military guy, played by Stephen Lang, who's going to be on that new uh, show on Fox called Terra Nova, which looks pretty good, if you ask me. Um, so, yeah, he goes, but yeah, um, Jake Sully, he goes to this planet called Pandora, and... Um, he goes there to, um, well, excuse me, to be part of this team that's supposed to negotiate with the natives of the planet called the Navi. That are like these blue-skinned creatures, and they look really cool and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they basically want to negotiate with the Navi to like relocate them or something like that, so they can get hold of this ore, some of that called unob unobtainium. Sounds really weird, I know. But, yeah, and uh, Jake gets uh, the avatar that was supposed to go to his his brother, who was a scientist and stuff like that, but then his brother died, so they had to get uh, Jake in, who is, um, was like a former Marine, and uh, he's in a wheelchair and stuff like that, but in his avatar body, he can use, um, he can actually use his legs, which is actually pretty cool. So, yeah, and um, the leaders of the team are pretty cool. Well, the people in, in the Avatar team are pretty cool. Like, we got Sigourney Weaver out of all people in this movie. Um, but, yeah, some other people in there and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so, yeah. And um, then Jake meets one of the Navi people. Um, I forget the name of the character... Um, but I do know that she was played by, um, by Zoe Saldana, who was in, uh, the Star, the recent Star Trek movie, and, uh, and more recently in, uh, Columbiana, which I have not seen. I really want to see that movie, because it looks freaking awesome. So, yeah, and so then Jake meets with, uh, with the rest of the Navis, and, uh, and stuff like that. And um, then he learns the ways of the Navi and stuff like that, and actually spends more time with them than than the humans. So, yeah, you, you can kind of see where this sort of following the trend of like Pocahontas and Ferngully and all that, and all the and all those other movies and stuff like that. Um, but then things take a turn for the worse when. Um, <clears throat> When the military guys start coming in and uh, they actually take down one of the one they actually take down like the Navi's home tree or something like that which really kind of sucks so uh, but yeah and what also sucks is that when uh, Sigourney Weaver's character I, I forget the name of the character but when uh, when her uh, Sam Worthington and well Jake Sully I should say because that's his character's name in the movie duh um, they all try to escape and stuff like that. Um, Sigourney Weaver gets injured and then, unfortunately, she dies, which really sucks. Um, so yeah, that kind of bites. And, um, yeah, so then basically Jake teams up with the Navis to fight the military guys. Of course, they fight and 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 they fight, and they fight, and they fight until, um... Until the Navi ultimately win, and so they basically just send the military guys packing and 
so and so forth. And at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, um, Jake uh, gets Jake gets himself transferred into his avatar body permanently. So yeah, that was so. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can remember about the movie. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, it's pretty much all I can remember. Um, so yeah, but then um, but yeah, of course, then the movie got re-released and showed some new scenes and uh and that made it to the Avatar Extended uh Collector's Edition. It's pretty cool. It's got like three DVDs, has like some new footage and some bonus material and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah, get back over there. Thank you. Um so yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about Avatar. I really, really enjoy this movie. They are gonna make a sequel, which I think is fantastic. I mean, who doesn't love a sequel to a good movie? <laughs> I, I I mean, I sh I mean, I love I love it when they make sequels to really good movies, but yeah, you know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So anywho, there's not much else I could say about Avatar. I really really do enjoy this movie. I think it's great. Um the look of the planet, like the landscape was really really fun to look at. I loved it. It was really really great. Um but yeah, it's like, I don't know how many years it took to make this movie, like, I don't know, but yeah, we'll just see what's going to happen when the sequel comes out, whenever that is, whenever that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I heard that they're going to be filming the sequel at, at like Manhattan Beach or something like that, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really, I really, really do enjoy this movie. I know that the Nostalgia Critic has put this on his list of uh, of the top ten movies that he hates but everyone else loves, but yeah, I could I could somewhat agree with him on the fact that yeah, this is like the plot in the movie is similar to like I said, Pocahontas and Fern Gully and all those other movies and stuff like that. But but of course, you know, whether you like it or not, this is just a really really fantastic movie, and of course, I loved the three D. It was really really cool. I love uh, the the landscape of the planet. That was really really fun to look at. I just freaking loved it. And uh, look at the Navi was actually not that bad. I don't know why they had to be blue skinned and have those like those weird uh, those like those things on their face, like the white sparkly things or whatever they were. I don't. I'm not really sure what that was all about. But whatever. Um, but yeah, so I really, really do enjoy this movie. I like I said, I cannot wait for the sequel. I don't know what sequel. I don't know what the plot of the sequel is going to be. But you know, just be warned, it's probably going to be a whole lot better than this one. But who knows? Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. <laughs> so yeah, that's so that's pretty much all I can say about Avatar. Again, I love this movie. The 3D was amazing. Of course, the scenes that they that they put back in when they re-released the movie, they were pretty okay. I mean, there actually are some scenes like on the on the three disc version of DVD that that wasn't in either version, like the re-release or well, you know what I mean. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And they also have like an alternate opening on the three disc version, which is really cool. So, yeah, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about Avatar. Again, I really, really, really enjoy this movie. I think it's one of James, James Cameron's best movies by far, the best movie he's ever directed in his entire directing career. I love it. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, I really, really love this movie, um, I think the Jake Sully character is definitely a much more dynamic char dynamic char bleh, dynamic character than like John Smith and Pocahontas or whatever the guy's name was in Ferngully, uh, the human that uh, <clears throat> that Krista meets. Um, you know, I think he's a more dynamic character than those two. I mean, you know, he starts off as this really jerky kind of guy, but over the course of the movie. He becomes more sympathetic towards uh, the Navi and wanting to help them out. So yeah, I mean, of course you know, like the 
Stephen Stephen Lang's character said that, oh, you know, if if you help us out with this, then you know we'll give you back your real legs. Well, screw that. I mean, he has an avatar body that has legs that he can actually you know use to like run around it and stuff like that. So, you know, what the hell? Um, but yeah, I mean, again, like I said before. A lot of people compare this movie to Pocahontas or Fern Gully, and uh, like the nostalgia critic has said, like people also compare this movie to District Nine. I have not seen District Nine, so I don't know how people would compare Avatar to District Nine. I guess mainly because the whole prejudice thing, or but again, I have not seen District Nine. I'm not quite sure if I want to or not, but oh well. Um, but yeah, but like I said, this is one of James Cameron's best movies by far his greatest work ever I mean yeah I like some of his other films like I said you know the first two Terminator movies Aliens Titanic those were all good movies um of course True Lies was also a very fun movie I loved in that movie I loved the chemistry between uh, Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis that was fun um you know but in this movie I really really enjoyed uh chemistry between the Jake Sully character and uh, the Zoe and the Zoe Saldana character again I cannot remember the name of the character that she plays but you know like the chemistry between her and uh, Sam Worthington's character Jake um, that was really lots of fun um, so yeah and I, I actually read one I actually read on the internet that at one point for a uh, Sigourney Weaver's character they were gonna name her uh, Shipley which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah, Shipley. Kind of a it's kind of a little joke to the name of Sigourney Weaver's character in the Alien movies, which was Ripley. So, there you go. But yeah, it's pretty much, like I said, it's pretty much all I can say about Avatar. Again, I love this movie. James Cameron did an amazing job directing it. I cannot wait for the sequel. I know that a whole lot of Avatar fans are going to be excited for the sequel, too. Um... So, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Check out you guys later. Bye.